at you today with a little review video. I always like to search the grocery store, mainly Walmart, whenever I go because you never know what company is going to come out with a keto friendly something or other. And it's very rare that they actually are keto. I look at the back of the packages, I read the ingredients, I look at the total carb count for how much you get, and then I determine if I'm going to buy it or not. So, like in my one Walmart cereal review video, I showed you how there's some that are just like crazy nine carbs for a cup of something that you normally would eat almost two cups of. So you just got to be mindful that it is an actual keto product. So I found, I was really excited, what used to be, I was Fiber One, they rebranded it as Protein One. So I used to eat those fiber one cookies all the time that's really the only thing that i enjoyed from them was like the big soft chocolate chip cookies i used to get some other stuff like the brownies every once in a while but that was when i was doing my low calorie low fat diet and exercising like crazy and yes i lost weight but again i gained it all back because as soon as i met adam i wanted to go out to eat and i was drinking beers and you know just being happy and in love and guess what I gained it all back so that's why I like keto because I can make it more of a lifestyle change than feeling deprived and not eating good stuff and eating like the cardboard 90 calorie brownies and cookies and stuff like that that just tastes gross but I was wondering if these guys did keto right and if it tastes good so I got two kinds, that's what the two that they had. It's still only 90 calories. So I'm not having high hopes for it tasting delicious. But we got strawberries and cream and peanut butter chocolate, which I'm more of a peanut butter chocolate person. So, and I'll put up the price of these. These were a little bit cheaper than some others. There's 10 bars in here, so I really hope they're good because I didn't see anything like this says value pack. I didn't see anywhere I could just try one. So I had to buy a whole box. So I really hope they're good. But like I said, I don't have high hopes because they're 90 calories. 2.5 grams of fat in this one, two in this one. 11 total carbs, five fiber, four sugar alcohols. So two net carbs for this guy. And the exact same for this guy. So we'll see. 90 calories and only 2 grams of fat isn't going to be a meal. It's going to be kind of maybe a dessert after a meal. Still, like, I don't know, it's probably not going to be very satisfying, I'm guessing. But let's try them and find out. I'll start with the strawberries and cream first because I definitely, if I'm going to like one, it's going to be the chocolate peanut butter. Oh, we're going to look at ingredients too, which I believe I looked and there wasn't anything that I would, like, say no for keto, like maltitol or sorbitol or sugar or dextrose or any of that stuff. It actually had, everything was pretty much keto for the ingredients. If you don't do soy on keto, that'd be out. Soy protein is the first ingredient. Chicory root extract, whey protein, erythritol, vegetable glycerin, palm kernel oil, milk protein isolate, water, calcium, soy lecithin, yogurt powder, strawberry powder, collagen, which is nice. Salt, natural flavors, malic acid, citric acid. Unfortunately, there is color 40, red 40, yellow 6, blue 1. And canola oil is the last ingredient. There's also stevia extract, which I went over for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, I try not to do dyes. So that is a strike against this. I don't think this one has it in it. Yeah, because this one is just chocolate. I wouldn't give this to like my baby or anything because of the dyes but let's try it. It's really, really, really tiny. So maybe it tastes good and it's just 90 calories because it's so small, unlike the Quest bars and stuff. So if you eat two of them, 180 and four grams of fat, a little bit better, but again, two, so that'd be four net carbs. Let's see it. I'm gonna pull this whole thing out. It's so small. <laughs> yeah, bring me back to those days of dieting. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's chewy. That's good. It's not like a brick hard. Why do we need to dye it, really? Just use strawberry powder and be done with it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Tastes like diet food. For sure. Bummer, I got a ton of these. It's nice that they're trying, and at least they are keto, technically. They're actually not sweet enough for me. With erythritol and stevia extract, if they just put a little bit more fat and sweetener in there, it'd be good. Just a little dry. Oh, I was going to say, it's not gluten-free, but there are no actual wheat ingredients. It just says it may contain almonds, eggs, wheat, and sesame seeds. So, it doesn't have wheat in the ingredient, but it's technically not gluten-free. It's okay. I may eat them still. I probably won't throw them out. Maybe, um, Adam will eat some. <laughs> or Adam's dad. Okay, next. Chocolate and peanut butter is like my favorite thing in the world, so I hope this is good. But the picture of the bar on the front really isn't even appetizing. We'll see... Uh, the only different ingredients, let's see. Partially defatted peanut flour, Dutch cocoa, non-fat dry milk, peanuts, peanut oil. It's the only different ingredients. And it just has 0.5 more fat because of the peanuts. This one's just this tiny. It's so small. <laughs> Look at how little it is. <laughs> Even more chewy, I'd say. This one is definitely better. It's still not as sweet, I think, as I'd like it. It definitely tastes of peanut butter. I think it needs more chocolate. You would think they just make the inside peanut butter and dip it in chocolate. Does that make more sense? Mm. This one I'll finish. It's pretty good. For 10 bars, I definitely know this is going to be the cheap, one of the cheaper options for keto bars. Yes, it is flexible keto, but for on the go, I'd say it's a decent thing to have. If you really just don't want anything for, like if you want to take this for lunch with a sandwich, have my low carb bread that'd be a good you know little dessert for your lunch instead of having a candy bar or something not too bad i'd say good job protein one although i would say add a little bit more fat to it and it'd be even better that's the thing like people like keto friendly so yeah it's 10 grams of protein why don't you add a little bit more fat in there and it'll be more delicious and then sell it that's just my opinion I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and found it helpful in some way. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this kind of video. Thank you for subscribing, and as always, I'll be back with more keto videos. Bye, guys.